Hi, I'm Dr. Neha Niharika, consultant pathologist, Redcliffe Labs, Philip Nagar. Today, I'll be discussing a very common yet very important topic that is complete blood count. So, complete blood count is the first and the foremost investigation that is advised to any patient who visits a healthcare facility. It is routinely performed to provide an overview of a patient's general health status. CBC gives information regarding the main three parameters. The first parameter is the red blood cells or the RBC count. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, which is the oxygen carrying molecule of the body. The next parameter is the WBC count. It defines the disease fighting ability of a patient. It is necessary for the immunity of an individual. The third parameter is platelet, which is involved in blood clotting. Now let's see why this test is done. First of all, the major indication of this test is to check the overall health of a patient as a part of routine checkup. It also detects any infection, anemia, blood cancer or platelet disorder that a patient might have. It is also used to monitor an existing blood disorder. The first parameter that we see in a CBC is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin values varies according to a person's age and sex. Low hemoglobin suggests anemia and the type of anemia can be inferred from a CBC report. The second most important parameter that we see in CBC is the white blood cell count or the WBC count. Normal WBC count for a normal patient is 4000 to 11000 cells per microliter. High counts can be seen in cases of infections, inflammatory disorders, leukemias or myeloproliferative disorders as we commonly uh, know them as blood cancer. Low counts can be seen in cases of certain viral infections, aplastic anemias and bone marrow failure disorders. Now moving on to the third most important parameter which is the platelet count. Normal platelet count in a normal individual is 1.5 to 4.5 lakhs per microliter. High platelet count is also known as thrombocytosis and is seen in cases of chronic infections after splenectomy and in some of the myeloproliferative neoplasms. Low platelet count or thrombocytopenia is seen in viral infections like dengue fever, liver diseases and bleeding disorders. In Redcliffe labs, we perform CBC in Horiba 1500 and Transasia Allied 5AP which are six part and five part hematology analyzers respectively. The collection of blood in EDTA vacuum trainers, it is thoroughly mixed in blood mixers and the sample is kept in the sample aspiration area of the instrument from where it is taken for further processing. So these are the basic information that we get through a CBC report. Rest of the parameters or indices in the report are for your doctor to interpret. So whenever your treating doctor suggests you to get this test done, never ignore it. These tests can help you in diagnosing diseases as small as anemia to even blood cancers. And timely diagnosis and treatment of these diseases help in a better and early recovery. Thank you.